get ourselves in some sticky situations. And we can actually be at the point of near death. But just like God said to Job, just like he's saying over your life and my life too. Look, Satan, I recommend Josh to you. But you can try him. You can trick him. You can trade him. But one thing that I will not allow you to do, I will not allow you to kill him. You can discourage him. You can oppress him. You can attempt to depress him. But I will not release you to kill him. And that's why we are still here. It's our time to give you what he gave us. The first thing. If you stop, you still have to obey God. the Lord. Yeah. And most dream killers are not around you. Most of your dream killers dwell in you. If Einstein had stopped, we would not have the access to the intelligence and the inventions that he has gifted us with. If Jordan had stopped, you would never have a measure to understand why Kobe and Shaq can't never be him. And LeBron. God wants to deliver some of us. And the enemy says, I'm not going to let him go. I have been in his mind for too long. And that's why people sit in my counseling sessions and say, I was raised like this. And my only appropriate response to that is, does that make it right? You were raised to tell people your mama went home when she was standing in front of you right there when you asked her to phone. <laughs> Y'all ain't saying nothing. <laughs> Some of us were raised not to lay, not to lay away. Some white people were raised not to like black people. So true. Some of us were raised with a lot, so we were raised to look down on others. And some of us were raised not with a lot, and so we were raised to think of ourselves sometimes as basket cases. Give me, give me, and everybody's supposed to help me. I'm trying to figure out, just because you were raised like that, if the way you were raised don't line up with the way God wants to raise you, then something ain't right. Starting my day on victory side. Mr. I let my professor discourage me. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I answered the wrong phone call. Now I can't even get my mind together. It's not just feelings, you all. It's a dream killer on the loose. What it endeavors to do is to cause you to lose the Just take an inventory of your red bottom collection or your J collection, then you might realize hmm, I gave about $75 in about 50 offerings last year, but somehow or another I have a $7,500 shoe, jewelry, hats, caps, and rings collection. Doubt has caused us to stop trusting God altogether. Doubt has given way of uh, advantages to fear in our life. Isn't it profound? the kingdom of God, but somehow or another God makes a way out of no way. Even when we wasn't saved and we was buying weed, and glory to God, amen, run into the store with fake IDs, buying bottles of Hennessy and Kovacie, somehow or another God still kept the hand of death over us. Doubt is definitely a dream killer because glory to God, not to believe the promise of God that is on your 